Behind me, the first signs of uh, violence hitting the Harborn High Street. I'm stood here outside Iceland, uh, where young people, youths, have um, tried to gain entry into the Iceland store. Uh, they've failed to do so, however, they have smashed the glass. Fortunately, police are here in force. The atmosphere tonight is very different in Harborn. It is very quiet. I've never seen Harborn like this. Pubs that would usually be very full um, are completely closed. There's no sign of life in the high street whatsoever. There have been a few reports of disturbances um, in the Harborn area. Most of these have proved to be false. Waitrose is not on fire and there's been no sign of any major violence. The only signs of any attack have been the Iceland store behind me. According to Twitter, this was done by a group of youths. Whether this is part of the main riot is very unlikely. More likely, it is a group of copycats, young people trying to replicate what's going on in the city centre out here in the suburbs of Harborn. Police traffic is very heavy here right now. Um, in the few minutes that I've been stood outside here, I have counted at least seven or eight police vehicles um, and just now a convoy of four police cars sped right down the high street going away from the city centre. So obviously disturbances are a lot more spread out tonight. The city centre has been contained and controlled by the police and as such we're witnessing a lot of um, attacks throughout the outer areas of the city. But for now Harborn remains safe and quiet. Uh, the police have been notified of the attack at Iceland. I doubt it will lead to anything more. Um, once again, Harborn is being used as a main artery route into and out of the city centre, but also towards West Bromwich tonight, where there have been further violence and uh, attacks. But for now, Harborn will remain quiet and peaceful. As I said, a lot of traffic coming through, um, ambulances going to and from the Queen Elizabeth Hospital as well. So it may be quieter than uh, last night, but there's certainly still a lot of activity going on. Reporting for Redbrick News, this is Dave Glenwright in Harborn High Street.